Hello guys and welcome to my channel again. Today I'm gonna talk about five steps to learn a language by yourself on your own. Let's get started. Before I start, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video about how to learn a new language. It will help you more. So the tip number one is flashcard. Maybe it rings your bell why I put the flashcard as number one. Because I searched and watched most of the videos on YouTube to how to learn a new language or how to learn a language. And one of them said that the tip number one is grammar rule. The next one said the tip number one is watching movies or TV shows. The next one said this or that. And I think the tip number one is really flashcards. Actually, it's vocabulary. But if you want to memorize it efficiently and in a right way, you have to write it down on something. Why and how? I will tell you in the next moments. Flashcards are a powerful tool for learning new words quickly. It helps your memory to memorize new words. For more results, draw a picture beside the word. Our brain is kind of imaginary and it responds to the pictures quickly. Just make for yourself a flashcard. Also, there's a lot of templates on Google and also it's free. Go and download it and use it. And the most important thing is to make a sentences for the word you want to learn. It help you to remember more vocabs. Number two, create a daily habit. If you want to learn a language as fast as possible, you have to make it your daily habit, the language you want to learn. You have to engage with the language. From the moment you wake up in the morning till the time you want to go to the bed and sleep, do these things in English. At first, make a schedule for yourself. I mean, what time did you wake up from sleep? What kind of things you do after that? What time did you go to the school or maybe university or your work and having lunch, uh, coming back to work and the time you come back to home and the time you want to sleep? Do all these things in English or write down an introduction about yourself. Pretend you're introducing yourself to someone else. Tell him about your hobbies, about what you love, about what you hate maybe visiting somewhere, your near future plan, or anything else. Just write it down and then translate it to English. If you can, ask for someone. Jack Anderson, please help me. Remember, if you want to learn a foreign language, no matter which language it is, you have to interact with people, you have to talk with people, you have to speak with people, engage yourself with language. If you're going to the university, tell your friends about your daily habits or if you're going to work, tell your colleagues. This is the point where you have to start your language. Number three, watching movies. This is one of my favorite part of learning because uh, when I'm watching movies or TV shows, I feel myself inside the game because the actors uses simple conversations and common expressions they use and speak in their real lives. Believe me, I learned all of my English abilities or skills I have it right now is because of watching movies. Of course, I'm not perfect in English, but I'm still doing this method for learning my uh, and improving my English language uh, skills. Once I watched 15 episodes of a series in one day. It was because the passion I had about uh, learning language with movies and the passion I had about watching movies. When I want to search something on YouTube, I did it in English and I still I do. I love TED Talks because of different accents, different types of speaking and different ideas. You can just go and start your language journey with watching movies, podcasts or TV shows or whatever you like or at least use from any social medias. But the important thing is the thing you feel love with, you enjoy with watching that. When I was watching many heist series, it's original languages, Spanish, but I watched uh, English dubbed one. It was amazing. It was dubbed with a simple English. I know most of the vocabularies or even some grammar rules they speak in that movie. I suggest you to don't watch movies that you feel uncomfortable with. I hate political movies because I don't like politic idioms and expressions and it's tedious for me. I don't like it. So the tip number four is read. 
You there! Read aloud! Reading is not just getting a book and sitting somewhere and reading it all day long. We have so many kinds of reading. When the actors say something, you hear them. And when you hear something strange, look at the subtitle and write it down on your notebook and try to memorize it. This is not really important to buy a book. You can read magazines, newspapers, your little brother or sister's books, PDF books, or even when you surf on social media, you can find various topics about there. Just read it. But if you like reading and you want to put some of your money on buying books, there's no problem. Go to the bookstore and find your favorite book, maybe novel, short story, history, on the other hand, psychology, self-improvement, or whatever else you like. Just buy it and read it. And you have to dedicate at least 20 minutes per day for reading section. And once you finish the reading of the book, try to summarize them. And after that, try to tell them to someone else. And if they resent anyone, tell it to yourself. Stand in front of a mirror and tell to yourself. This really helps you to get the advantage of this learning method. And the tip number five, practice. Practice makes progress. Whatever you learn from YouTube, podcasts, TV shows, movies, or whatever else, if you don't practice it, you're not gonna learn a language. The key of the learning is practice. Make a schedule, set time for reading, listening, and speaking, and practice it regularly. Maybe memorizing new words. It's okay, try to memorize it, but this is not the end of the line. You have to use it. You have to practice it until using them without looking to the world. The more you practice, the more you learn, and the more you get progress. Thanks for watching the video till end. If you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for my next video notification. Wish you the best.